what's up guys welcome back to my channel this is the coder here and today I'm going to make something really cool alright so uh, over here is a music player alright and um, in this part okay since um, this video the design or the design of the UI um, it's going to take a lot of time so I have decided to make this uh, music player in two parts so the first part is this one and the second part will be coming soon so yeah um, you can either wait or if you're lucky then I probably have already posted it on YouTube alright um, the next thing that I'm going to say is that this is just the UI alright um, bringing life to it well I'm gonna do it in the second part alright so right now we are just going to see how to make this beautiful UI alright so um, over here as you can see we have the song name and then over here we have the thumbnail and behind uh, in the background we have the um, you know the thumbnail again alright and these are my control buttons and over here I have a um, you know song progress bar like how much the song has completed till now um, this is uh, here to denote it and yeah it's an input tag so um, it becomes really easy to like design this uh, when you use input tag alright and a little bit of CSS um, helped me to make this like look like this like a progress bar alright and um, there's just this one problem that is um, you guys have to wait for a little bit period uh, alright you guys actually don't have to wait I'm gonna just upload it tonight alright so yeah let's just move on so over here this is our code right over here this is the CSS okay and this is the HTML it's pretty small and yeah let's just begin with making everything alright so let's just delete everything at first okay now as you can see in the second tab I have um, see, uh, the, the uh, font family for my um, song name alright that we are going to add later um, you guys can check in Google Fonts it's available there it's really cool so <clears throat> the first thing that I'm going to do is going to start with basic HTML alright now my laptop looks um, okay this is a small update my laptop looks a little bit different alright the taskbar has went up and the the font size or not only the font size the whole thing has been changed actually a little bit okay whatever um, it I just made this font size a little bit small so that I can see everything you know more properly because I, I don't get to see the whole of the code and over here I can see everything so whatever why are we talking about that that does not work, that matter um, the next thing that I'm going to do or the first thing that I'm going to do is name the title alright and I'm gonna name it music player alright um, then I'm going to link my CSS with this alright mp.css and if you want um, like we are not designing our script tag right now so but still you know I'm just going to link it with my HTML alright because I just want to make the script part in my um, next tutorial alright so mp.js and save alright so now we have everything connected alright now uh, I'm, I'm doing just going to show you like uh, what, what I have in my gallery alright so over here I have like um, a song by Billie Eilish the bad guy alright and then J Jaden Smith's icon and um, on my own by Ross Lynch alright and then we have the simple things that is like the you know previous and the next button and the play button the pause button alright and everything like that and the three main things that is the that um, like gives life to the web app alright so this is like the skeleton this is like the physical features and this is like the mental features but whatever right now it does not matter much okay over here are the thumbnails and these are going to be our background and you know whatever in this project alright so yeah let's begin so the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm gonna make a container tag alright now making a container tag is a really good practice if you do that then great because that would help you organize your website um, elements really nicely alright so that's why I use container um, or else you can design it anyway alright 
um, if you want, all right. Um, it's easy to center stuff in a container. So yeah, that's why I always make a container. Now before I move on, I'm just going to make the background, all right. That is this one. So the background is going to contain um, like the first song. Okay, I'm just going to keep icon as my first song, and I'm gonna make this as background. All right. So let's make it background. And now over inside here, I'm going to put another IMG tag, which would be my thumbnail. All right. Like this is the background. If I save it, this photo that is going to appear now, this is going to be my background and um, this photo right over here it's going to be my thumbnail that is going to be um, clearly visible on my music player all right so um, over here also it would be the same icon.jpg okay so you guys can actually kind of figure out like how the javascript would look like okay the it would the variable that is assigned for the um, source source file for the image and um, the background and the thumbnail is going to be the same all right so yeah uh, we are gonna talk about javascript in the next tutorial let's just forget about it for now so yeah i'm just going to name this bg actually and yeah i'm going to keep everything really simple so i'm going to use id all right and id thumbnail all right come on thumbnail and then what I'm going to do is make a box alright this is a part of the UI so yeah I'm just going to write in the box okay or dot box and this is going to be our song name alright um, song name let's just give a dash there and e save alright and inside this would be our song name okay let's save it now on saving it you will see that there are two images all right now we have to resize these images properly so yeah this is where css comes in and um i always like the background to be black okay whatever our project is i just want the background to be black all right it just looks good all right so the background will be black and now we can move on with our project all right so so first thing that i'm going to do is make the container or no I'm just going to make the background so hashtag VG and position will be absolute and I'm going to set its height 100% and also the width to 100% alright and the next thing that I'm going to do is center this alright so to the center you know what magic we can do alright there are many ways with which we can center you know HTML elements but for me this is the easiest way I guess alright so that's why I always use this method alright okay so this is going to be our full you know whatever it is okay now if you like move up you'll see that this is actually become our background now since there's another picture of the um, thumbnail okay that, that's why it's like so big all right but this has like uh, actually become my background picture so now I'm going to just blur it out all right so yeah I'm going to use filter for it and blur and I'm gonna make it for like 40 px or something like that we give it a huge value so that you know it it's barely visible all right and now on this is going to be our UI so yeah let's just set the Z index to minus one all right um, over here is the uh, picture and now when we start designing our container everything would um, like fall back into place all right so yeah let's make it position absolute absolute all right and um, then height would be 400 pd and the width would be somewhere like 250 pd all right and now what i'm going to do is center this also so margin would be auto and um yeah t0 r0 l0 b0 and i'm going to make overflow hidden so that you know this happens all right so um like this we can like we kind of get how our UI is going to look like you kind of get it and um, yeah the next thing that I'm going to do is center the stuff present in it so just going to make display flex and justify content to center and also align items to center all right save it see it's in the center now and I'm just going to show make um, give it a background color as black so that you guys can see like how big the container is all right and um, yeah when we make something related to songs and stuff you know 
um, when you try to make a really good UI you always need to add some body radius so that's what I'm going to do add some body radius and this is too much so I'm going to make it 80 x alright okay now let's move on um, the next thing that I'm going to do is design this thumbnail image over here alright so it was what hashtag thumbnail or dot thumbnail yeah it was hashtag thumbnail so hashtag thumbnail okay I'm going to name position absolute absolute all right now it would probably yeah it would increase in size all right now I'm going to just set its height and width all right or let's not set width you know it would just work like that and this height is hundred percent okay we don't want it to span all over across the um, our our UI all right I want its width to be equal to the UI all right so that you know it looks good all right okay because if it's like as big as the UI we can give that really cool fade in and fade out alright so I'm going to just make this a little bit bigger and yeah that would do that alright um, so this is all designing the thumbnail um, maybe we could move it up but no it doesn't. we don't need that right now okay I'm just going to bring this down over here come on okay bring this down over here so that it becomes easy for you guys to see and me also to see like what is going to be the next thing that I'm going to design okay so the next thing that I'm going to design is called the song name div alright so um, position would be absolute alright and the height would be like 100 pd and um, width would be um, 300 pd alright oops not 400 300 pd 3000 300 alright let's save it and then I'm gonna give it a background color just to see if it's there or not and nope it's not here so let's set the Z index to 2 or something yep it's here alright now I think it's this happened because of the Z index present over here which I can just remove you know if I remove it nothing would happen much so now if I want then I can remove this thing oh no it's actually behind this because I'm designing it later whatever so we need to keep it all right and the next thing that I'm going to do is um, you know give it a nice fade now for a nice fade I'm going to give this thing a really cool color all right so um, I'm gonna Jonah I'm gonna use dash web kit um, linear gradient all right and um, I'm gonna make this 45 degrees okay, degrees all right and now we're gonna move on with our RGB colors alright I have noted down a few RGB color values alright um, which I thought was really cool I'm just gonna bring um, bring my notes down over here I'm gonna copy it so let's pause it alright so I have copied my um, the values okay um, so now we can move on alright so I have to delete this for a second um, now in here I'm gonna put it 45 degrees and comma and save this alright what did I do? Oh, oh, wait, 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 wait. Hold on, hold on. Okay, I'm just gonna pause it again. I just copied and pasted the whole code again. All right. So now I have um, finally copied it, and these are the colors. All right. So now when I save this thing, see that? It's such a cool, um, you know, gradient. And the next thing that I'm going to do is add some blur to this um, whole thing. Alright, so I'm gonna add some blur like 3px or something like that. You see, like the blur is kind of come um, coming up slowly and slowly. So when I make it 150, it becomes more. And now the simplest way that is make top zero. And now you'll see like it's kind of getting blurred in. Alright, now I'm gonna make it better by increasing the height more and more. Okay, and yeah, that's it. I'm going to take it back a little bit. More, yeah, a little more whatever all right minus 15 percent and increase the width so I'm gonna make it I'm gonna make it 400 pd so now nothing is visible properly I mean you know the fade kind of looks like a fade all right <clears throat> so yeah it's working now I'm gonna make this 20 percent so that it goes in a little bit more all right and um, yeah let's do let's begin with the box all right 
the dot box is going to be something similar to this again right so position would be absolute and the height would be set to 190 p 190 pt all right 190 pd and width would be again 400 pd and yeah actually pretty much this whole thing all right just that it's not going to be in the same location as of the song name all right so let's save it and do make this top as bottom all right now when we save it see that it becomes uh, comes in the bottom all right and i'm going to make this 20 percent um 15 percent all right so that we have enough space for us uh, space we have enough space for um, you know adding or just embedding our buttons uh, controls and stuff all right so yeah I'm just going to take this thing up a little bit 14 px percent what minus 25 percent yep now it's cool and um, the image of the thumbnail it should be a little bit less the image of the thumbnail did I just say that <laughs> whatever so yeah this, this is going to be it alright now the next thing that I'm going to add is going to be the song title alright and in this we are going to have the name of the song like um, Jaden Smith um, icon now Please don't judge me by seeing the song I hear you listen to. Alright. It's a pretty cool song actually. Whatever song title. Alright. I'm gonna make position absolute over here so that it appears. Oh yeah. I need to make Z index as two so that it appears. See there? And the next thing that I'm going to do is add some color that is going to be white. Alright, and then I'm going to import a really cool um you know font family so yeah let's just go up and it, let's import it right over here alright save it go down and yeah come up a little bit and make the font family set the font family to this so let's copy this code paste it save it and when it's written back you see really cool and um, you know font okay now I'm going to increase the font size a little bit so yeah font size will become like 30 px something like that alright and top will become 0 okay um, well not 0 actually it will be like 10% or something alright so that we can just see like yeah this is the name alright we just give some we just want to give some boldness to the song name alright um, another thing that I, I should have done first is that adding a shadow alright I forgot to add a shadow alright um, I just want to give it a really cool 3D effect alright so that's why I'm going to use this line of code and when I do that see that it gives off a really cool shadow kind of look alright and after this um, what I'm going to do is um, make the play button and the other buttons alright yeah a lot of work to do so um, to do that what I'm going to do is go to HTML oops actually I should not. Yeah. I go to HTML and um, add our images so RG tag first one would be my play button so play.png and this I'm gonna name the alt text to play pause and give it an ID of how much um, how much pp right and now I'm going to do another I'm, I'm uh, image tag <laughs> Alright, and now over here would be our um, next song and previous song button. Alright, um, giving an alternate text is a cool thing to do, so yeah, I maintain that. Um, and you should do also, alright, because sometimes, um, you know, people with no internet connection visit your website and think like, whoa, whoa, where are the buttons? So yeah, in that case, you need these things. All right. So now let's move on to our button. All right. So first one would be hashtag PB. All right. Position would be absolute, absolute. All right. Let's save it. So the button is actually there um, because of this blur. We can see it properly. All right. If I bring it like in front, you guys would be able to see it. See that? Um, I don't want that. All right. So yeah, I'm just going to make the height to like 50px 
and make the width to come on and make the width to another 50 px all right so now it's like small and yeah i want the button to be white so i'm just going to change its color by doing this all right see that it's white and yeah cursor would be pointer again and yeah now it looks now it would be looking cool see that now we know that yeah this is a clickable button all right now the next thing that i'm going to do is going to be um positioning it all right so to position it what i'm going to do is bring it down by 10 percent all right bottom will be set to 10 percent and yeah now we need z index to all right so yeah it, it's um you know it's like in the perfect spot maybe a little bit of yeah the next thing that I'm going to do is design my NS or the next song and the previous song buttons. So position would be again absolute, all right, and um, the height would be out. Gonna keep 30 px and width. Also, I'm gonna keep 30, 30 px. All right, let's save it. See there, and I'm just going to copy this thing from here and paste it right over here, and now it's like a button. All right. The next thing that I'm going to do is um, position them properly. So I'm going to begin with bottom, making the bottom. All right. Where did it go? Oh yeah. I need to set an Z index. All right. And make this two. All right. Two. And yeah, thirteen percent will be twelve percent or fourteen percent. Okay. And now I'm going to move it to the left. Left. So hashtag NS. It would be um, to the left uh, about 15 percent all right save it and the uh, previous button it would be towards the right by 15 percent all right save it and the next thing that I'm going to do is add transform rotate so that the button rotates like 180 degrees and now we know that it's a next button and this is a previous button all right now I'm going to design the progress bar. So to do that, I'm going to use input tag. All right, input tag. Um, text. It's going to be range. All right, um, range. And um, I'm going to delete this out and make it volume over here. All right. And we also should set the minimum and maximum value. Um, yeah, everything is a good practice. All right. Um, yeah, so we are going to set these two things and also the value to zero because you know it's going to begin from zero. All right, now we actually don't know the max value. All right, it, it depends on the song's duration. So I'm just going to set max to null. All right, so let's move on with the designing of this. Now, designing it is pretty easy. All right, but you know, we need three different stuff whatever um, the first thing that I'm going to do is um, re you know remove all its what uh, you know all the design that my um, browser would give it all right so yeah I'm just going to remove them by doing this all right say and now when I make position absolute it's going to come up after I make Z index 2 all right um it's actually not range or it's one all right let's say um still now i can see it that's because of this and yeah this is my range bar guys and i need to make this really cool all right so the i'm gonna make the height 3px yeah 3px all right and make the background color black all right fully black and um I'm going to design this volume thumbnail head also. All right, volume dash webkit. I'm gonna set it. Okay, not webkit. Since this is Mozilla Firefox, I'm gonna add moz. All right, and range thumb. So now we can design it. And I'm just gonna copy these from here and paste it right over here. Save it. All right, and then I'm going to set the height all right uh, the height would be equals to 3px right and the width would also be equals to 
TPX alright and uh, when we save it see that it gets smaller and also one th more thing that is I don't want any border right so border would be zero or none anything of your choice right so now it we can like move it alright and its value is actually set to zero so it should be like over here but you know it's Mozilla Firefox the value does not change um, whatever the next thing that I'm going to do is going to make like you know if it's filled till here it's going to be a different color and this one is going to be black so yeah to do that it's really easy um, although it's available on the Mozilla Firefox that is dash moz range progress alright it's really easy I'm just going to set a height to it like 3px again okay we don't want it to be bigger and um, the, the, the background color it's going to be um, we could make it white all right or the easy the um, best thing to do is add a linear gradient all right so I'm just going to add the linear gradient that I did over here I'm just going to copy it from here and paste it right over here all right let's paste it right it close see that it's not that noticeable though so I'm just going to give a huge color difference alright so this is going to be purple and this is going to be green alright some cool green color alright and um, yeah it's going to be 90 degree over here so that we can see it alright I don't see it though um, because both are green alright this one has to be somewhere cool blue can we see it? It's not visible that good. Um, I'm just going to keep make it zero degree. Yep. Now we can see it. All right. So you see that? It's so cool. See that? All right. So the next thing that I'm going to do is set its width and position. So I'm going to make its width as this. Oh man. Why is it so hard to make adjust with them this thing? Alright, the width is going to be 100 p. Alright, save it. 180 p. No, 160 p. Yeah, and then I'm going to bring it down by 10%. Let's see if it works. Um, let's see if 7% looks good. Yeah, 7% is much better. And yeah, this this is actually our, you know, whatever you want to say. <laughs> All right. Um, the next thing that I want to do is um, remove the background color of the thumb. All right. So yeah, background would be transparent. All right. So yeah, transparent. Save it. Now you see, there's nothing actually. But you see, it it completes like this. All right. And yeah, the next thing that you could do um, if you want to, alright, it's really cool that is set the border radius, alright. So yeah, it's really cool. Okay, um, I don't see that much border radius properly because you know it's my it's so small that it's barely visible. But if you like zoom this thing in, alright, you see the border radius. See that? Alright, and yeah, I have to set the border radius for this also. Um, I need where's the border radius 10px. I'm just gonna copy this from here and paste it right over here. All right, now when you see that, you see that it's kind of you know rounded off. All right, and now I'm going to make it small again. So yeah, guys, this is the UI that I um, made for my music player, and I feel it's really cool because you see like how it's fading in and fading out all right and my plan for the further i mean the next part of this video is that whenever we click on play button the background kind of like you know grows in size all right it becomes big all right so that it looks really cool all right because when you add more animations it becomes really very much cool for the users all right so um, let the plane pass by because it has more work to do than me okay now let's talk so 
um, you know th this is the this is the UI that I was uh, I had in my mind and I feel it's really cool okay um, in the next video I'm going to as I told when we click on play button it's going this um, thumbnail is going to grow all right and um, also one more thing I'm going to add um, in my next video that is um, when I tap on this icon image all right it would be like um, from this side there would be a small panel coming out which would be showing us like who wrote this song and stuff like that all right well that becomes too complicated okay so for now we are just gonna keep it till here in the next video I'm gonna add some life and maybe in the part 3 I'm going to add some stuff that is not needed all right so yeah for now I'm going to keep it till here and um, until then I'm gonna you know, meet you in my next video so yeah peace